Okay, for number five, it's referring to um, something that has a strong negative association. Essentially, this is a graph. This is a slope question. That's essentially all they're talking about. So let's, I'm going to give you a quick crash course in slopes, right? There are three types of slopes you really want to know about. So the first slope, oh, slopes, you always read them from left to right, from left to right. So left to right, this is a positive slope, or you could say it has a positive association. This is a negative slope, okay? And right here is a, um, well, actually, I guess there are two more, uh, two more slopes you can get, okay? So this slope, uh, because essentially, if you draw it horizontally, the y's are equal. And if you kind of think about the definite, one of the formulas for slope, slope is the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If you draw a horizontal line, the, the y's are the same. So the top here are the same, it's like saying 4 minus 4. Well, if you do 4 minus 4, it means the top will be 0. Well, 0 over something is still going to give you a slope of 0. So the slope in this case is actually 0 if it's horizontal versus if it's vertical, using the same formula, what's going to happen now is the x's are the same because it's a vertical line. It means there will be zero. You get a zero at the bottom because imagine the bottom being 5 minus 5. The, that would be zero at the bottom. So it would be something over, in like in this case, this was like zero over, say, 4. This is still zero. In this case, it would be, you know, whatever at the top, say, 4 over zero. Well, if you have a zero denominator, this is going to be undefined. Okay? So here are the four ways, four results you can get from a from a slope. Well, if you look at this question number five, it's essentially doing the same thing. You say we want a negative association, essentially a negative slope. So we're looking for something that goes from left to right down. And that, as you look at from the answer key in your textbook, is only A and D does that. A and D does that. But if you look at A, A has all these dots kind of everywhere. It's going down, but it's kind of random. But if you look at the D answer, it has what you call a strong correlation. It's very obvious this is going down um, in a strong fashion. So the answer here will be D for that reason. Um, a is also a negative correlation or negative association, but it's not strong, meaning they're not closely packed together. If you look at D, those dots are closely packed together. It's very strong. There are not too many outliers kind of run, running around. It's strong going down. So the answer there is D for number five.